counties require hard work and patience, and uh, a lot of, and, well, a lot of patience, like, like I said, and for, and always make sure when you're making brownies to have fun. Follow these simple steps to make ooey gooey brownies. What you'll need is, what you'll need is, is two cups of Nestle Tall House chocolate chips. Then you'll need one stick of butter. If you're gonna mix those into a heavy saucepan and stir until smooth. So as I'm stirring this, I'm just smashing the butter and chocolate chips. So I'm gonna take a break from this and list more all of the ingredients. These Brownies don't just take two ingredients. So let's go to the other ingredients. Then you're gonna need grease to spray your pan, which I've already done. Uh, so whatever. Then you'll need three large eggs. They can just be normal eggs, they don't have to be large. And so then you'll need two three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour. You'll also need one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda and well nothing else <laughs> so then you're gonna have to preheat the oven to 350 degrees i've already done that and it's working on it right now so then you're going to put one cup of well we've already done that and then we're gonna i'm just gonna say this up again we're gonna stir what one cup of butter and, I mean, one stick of butter, sorry. One stick of butter and um, two cups of chocolate chips. So, once we stir until smooth, so by stirring until smooth means no lumps, like no chocolate chips, like see there's chocolate chips in this. So it's not smooth yet, but it's getting very close, see? Looking really good, nice and chocolatey like a syrup. So then, after you do that, you never want to leave your whisk on a low heat. Oh, you're going to have to do this on a low heat. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to have to do this on a low heat. So if you haven't done that before, then you better do that now. So once that's all smooth, you are... All three eggs. 
eggs, make sure you get no shell in them. All three eggs, we are going to pour them in to our chocolate mix. Next, we're going to stir. So I have these little one fourth cups, so I'm going to use those three eggs. One, two, three. Oops. Now I'm going to mix. Now this is a very weird texture. <laughs> so now I'm mixing it, of course. And and so uh, once I mix in all the flour and like all that random stuff, I am going to. Going to uh, add in my one cup of sugar. So, sugar and now I'm just and now I need to add my vanilla extract which I need uh, one teaspoon so let's get my teaspoon where's my teaspoon let me go get my teaspoon actually I have my teaspoon So I only have one half teaspoon. So so I so I'm going to add two of these since it's only one half. One whoopsie, got a little extra. We'll get a little less since I got extra. Two. <laughs> Next. I'm gonna add in the baking soda. That's the last thing we need to add into that mixture. So how I need one fourth um, of uh, one fourth of a teaspoon, so of baking soda, not just of so of anything. Okay, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, next you I'm going to stir in that yummy yummy mixture. So <clears throat> yeah. So then I need to one more cup of chocolate chips. So ooh. Let's pour them in. 
I need one more cup and I need to add that in. Not melted or anything. Oops. So here we go. Let's add in that. We're just going to mix that all in. Uh, so this is a bit hard. Wow. Now I'm going to spread into my prepared pan that I've already greased. So just like that. And once I've got it all into the pan, I'm going to spread it out nice and even so my brownies are even, of course. So... Uh, it's, uh, it's just spread, she's just spreading it all out so it's nice and even and, and just so they'll be easier to cook. Now I'm going to, to put, I'm putting it in my preheated oven at, for 18 to 22 minutes. So she is setting the timer, I believe, for 18 minutes. So now we are going to wait until the brownies are done. See you in 18 minutes. One. Brownies are ready and um, he is just pulling them out of the oven and they are looking really good so before i cut them up and everything i'm gonna let them cool for a bit and then i'm gonna cut them up into into bars um, or little squares whatever and then i'm gonna serve them so let's let them cool half cool i'm gonna cut them into little squares Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your brownies that you made.